emailed me later. I guess he figured out what he thought I was trying to say. And he was like, well, I just looked at your cover page. He never put your name on it. So it's just like unnecessarily like back and forth. Like, excuse the frick out of me. I forgot to write my name on my cover page. Oh my God. If he didn't demand so many things in the first place, he wouldn't be here. I'm really upset. Cause like, first of all, there's so many things I'm trying to remember how to do. Like I've never done APA before. So first of all, I'm still like adjusting. But also, it was just like, I was really frustrated because I'm like, I'm doing my absolute best here. And I feel like I'm still getting like told because I forgot to put my name. But I do like his class. He has very good point. Three late days are an absence and 30 minutes late is an absence. I applied for a bunch of jobs. I wanted to work a little bit since I already have retail experience. So I got an email from Lululemon and they're like, if you could come at this day from this time to this time. Literally, it was two hours long. 7.30 a.m to 9 30 a.m this is an interview so i don't understand why it would be two hours i emailed him back i was like look i'll be in class on this time i really can't miss can you do any other day and they're like no we can't do any other day you can reapply in the future so i was like okay let me email my teacher real quick and i'll let you know what she says so i'm emailing my teacher and i'm like look i really want to work at lululemon but the only interview the time they have is two hours long and would it be okay like if i'm 30 minutes late because class starts at 9 15 i think so I, i'd be like 15 like 30 minutes late um and she was like okay go ahead that's fine but like a different another one of my teachers was like if you are 30 minutes late you are you are absent like that's it don't even come three let me let me see what i put three late days are an absent so i only get two per semester so if you overuse those and you're done like you you've already failed the course um, said or that at least they seem like it um because i know they said like orientation was mandatory but like it wasn't and the basement caught fire the first week the basement is so sketchy like honestly i cannot find my way around there i feel like i get so lost and like the buildings really like there's not even that many here that's why it's like so confusing why i get so lost you go down the hall it's like you go through bunches of double doors there's twists and turns and then you're like freaking lost <clears throat> like they have all of this like manufacturing equipment down there i guess it's for like the jewelry making students i'm not really sure but it's just like it's dark down there it's creepy as heck and it caught on fire already in the first week i am a huge movie lover i love amc movie theaters and it's like my favorite thing ever, actually. My boyfriend would always go to the movies before I moved here. I think like I got so excited to go to the movies. Like just for FIT students, they have two tickets for $21. You, you need to do cash. But like when I saw that, I was like, oh my God. Because our, our six year anniversary was yesterday. So I'm probably gonna go today to the school and be like, can you please give me two tickets? Because I love the movies. One of the things I'm kind of disappointed about actually with Fit is because this is my fault. I know that it is, but I've never worked Fashion Week. I don't even know how to get into the industry really. They didn't put as much, nearly as much of an emphasis on Fashion Week as I thought they would. So they sent us an email with some opportunities. I tried to click on the email when they sent it out because it, obviously it's labeled Fashion Week. But um, basically it was like, you could go on this website and sign up, but it was just the website for Fashion Week. So like I tried clicking everything and it wouldn't take me anywhere to sign up. And then when I finally found one of the things to sign up, it was like, it wouldn't take my information. I kept submitting and submitting and then I refreshed and did it again, like two more times, wasn't working. You can't make an appointment to go see your career and internship services until like a certain date. And I think it was after that date. So it just sucks because like a lot of us didn't even know about fashion. like. For me personally, I had so much going on. Like I went on so many interviews. I, I met so many people because I was trying to get out and not be in my bed. Just upset because I had never lived on my own before. Um, so it kind of fashionably kind of stuck up on us. I've just been so busy and like I didn't even get to work. Like a lot of people didn't even get to work. And like all like most of my friends are like actually international students and they're not even allowed to work. So it just really sucks. For them just the school didn't put an emphasis on fashion week like i thought they were going to be like because it's such a high it's such an important week in new york and you would think a fashion school would be like hey guys like they have this 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 and this like i think you should go apply here's the emails 
but they didn't really do that at all. Like you had to go like find your e find the email if you really want to work Fashion Week. Like you personally need to be on top of because I I just missed the ball. Like I mean I kind of thought they would send us more information on how to apply for it, but they kind of didn't. So it looks like a prison. There's no better way to describe this. It, it just looks like a prison. It looks really ugly. Um, Nagler Hall. That's the current. That's the hall that I'm in right now. The AC situation is god awful. Like, I came from Louisiana, so it was like 100 degrees like every day. That was just the normal. But like, I for the most part would just be inside because I didn't. I didn't feel like sweating every second of every day, so I would be inside. But it's like. This was one of the hottest Septembers that like New York has had and that's even, I haven't been here for other Septembers, but like that's what like all of the residential life people were telling me when I was trying to ask them for a fan and like they wouldn't give us fans even though they had like a hundred in the basement of Nagler Hall. Um, but like it was so hot like since I moved in. It, honestly like maybe a week or two maybe a week and a half ago it just started getting cool enough to where you can get under your covers um because it's literally september 21st right now we moved in august 19th is when we moved in so it's been a hot second since we've been here sweating to death um so for example like the dorms the other night it was 86 and then the night after that it was 91 degrees and like this is fahrenheit like it's so hot to where you have sweat dripping down your back right after you shower and you're just laying on top of your sheets. Your blanket can't even touch you because it's so freaking hot that like you are actually dying. My face every single day was so red and patchy because it was like hot, you know? And me and my roommate, we had, we felt very mutual about this is that like our scalps were so overheated and so like we had been itching so much because it was so dry and so oily from the constant sweating. It was awful. And like, I don't have like dandruff, but like I have dandruff because it was like, my scalp has never been so much more wrecked than this. And it was just, it was really bad. But it's getting a lot better now. Like it's a little hot now because the sun's coming in. But, um, let me see what else. One of the things that was like really exciting was like, we have we have a couple field trips for this semester plan. One of them was to the trade show. We just went to the trade show for Coterie the other day in my fashion industry fundamentals class. We also have, I think we're going to the Met and then in my fashion styling class, one of the fashion stylists is actually gonna come talk to us. So I think that would be like so, so cool for networking purposes. Um, but the Coterie show was so cool. That's like a big show where like fashion buyers come to like buy stuff for their brands and as a student I was literally in heaven like that was such a cool experience and I've never done anything like it before so I was like oh my god I love this so much like it made me want to be a buyer it was literally like it was like a big convention center pretty much and they had like two floors. They had like a higher dollar floor and the next one, Magic. I think that was like the faster fashion is what the tour guide said um, and a little bit of cheaper stuff. But everything, like even on the second floor, it wasn't like cheap. It was, everything was so gorgeous. And like, I saw so many clothes. Like I don't even see clothes that cute, like from where, from New York City. Like they don't have clothes that cute. But like everything there, I was so in love with but like it's wholesale because it's a trade show. So the buyers are buying for their brand. So like, for example, they had Dolce Vita. I'm not sure how to say the Schultz shoots, the, the heel boots. Um, they had um, lots of like, they had a, a brand who does like, I actually saw the New Orleans ones from where I'm from, New Orleans. And it's a brand and they did like New Orleans sequin sweaters. They had um, like the little t-shirt dresses were covered in sequins. That's, I don't know what brand it is, but they had like the Grinch sequin dress, like Christmas one, it was so cool. Um, they had MacDougall, MacDougall, I don't know how to say it. Uh, they had, um, what's that brand? I can't, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but they just had stuff like that. Okay, so earlier I was doing my vlog and my roommate 
was just walking in and she had one of her friends and I didn't want it to be like disturbing to either of them or I don't know if I could like still concentrate. Um, but also I was actually like running out of time to do my homework and I still had a, a good amount of stuff to do for this vlog. So I just thought it would be better. And I just made it to like right after my class ended, I just went to the library and my computer was like so close to dying and I didn't have the charger. Um, so I'm actually really happy that I ended the vlog earlier when I did. However, um, it's about seven o'clock and I am just about to finish. So my skin is like all red and irritated because it's like, it's just irritated. Okay, so left off from earlier, we were talking about, I don't really remember what I was talking about. Um, so the next thing on my list is one of the things like I didn't really expect because like you paying at the end of the year, it's like 10 five, like $10,500 for this dorm. And this is the cheapest one that they offer. However, you don't get free washer and dryer, which I thought, like, I didn't know we would have to pay for it. So that took me by a little bit of a surprise. Like, I kind of figured, like, okay, you have to bring your detergent. Um, but I didn't know you had to pay for the washer. Then you have to pay for the dryer. I, I mean, like, if anything, like, I would have expected it to just be you pay for the washer and the dryer once. But you have to pay for the washer. It's like a dollar seventy-five. Then you have to pay the same amount for the dryer. But like, I've never lived by myself before, and like, over the years, my wardrobe has just become so neutral. Like, I have white, tan, gray, and black. So like, the white and the tan, the gray and the black. But it's like I wear a mixture every single day. So like, I'm having to like wash my lights and my darks. And I've already ruined a lot of my shirts because I don't know why I had this thought in my mind, but I guess I thought like if I wash a new black towel and don't put it in the dryer, that it would be okay to wash together with some of my whites that have I've had for a long time. And that was so not the case. So that kind of sucks. However, Matt, Matt is bringing me two new towels, so that's really fun. One of them, I had one black towel and had one white towel. I only bought two towels. Um, because like when I do self-tan, I wanted to have my black towel. When I don't do self-tan, I want to have my white towel. Um, I have this pair of black satin like pajama. They're like pajamas, but it's like with the feather trim on the pants and the feather trim on the sleeves. They're really cute set from uh, Dillard's Outlet, I think. Or maybe it's mate one mate one of Dillard's or Macy's one of the two, uh, but it was like on clearance actually, and it's so pretty. It's such a dark sleek black set, but I hand washed it because I didn't want the feathers to get messed up, and I hung it in my closet like outside of my closet to dry, and I put a towel on the floor you know so that the water didn't soak all over the ground. Literally, my white towel was no longer white. I guess I thought, like, I didn't know that this outfit would be dripping black liquid. My hands were black for, like, two days. You can still see a little bit, like, my nail, my nails are, like, you can't really see. You can see on this one. Like, my nails are still black from the dye from, like, a week ago. And... That's why Matthew's bringing me up two new towels because I keep buying more stuff because unless I want to pay twice the amount with like half the size of my load, like much smaller loads, then I just don't feel like doing it. So there's that. Um, not to mention like it says on the washer, on the little, there's like a clear circle. It says on there, leave open when not using and no one leaves it open and it smells like poo like it smells so sour it's disgusting and still no one leaves the door open so we're washing our clothes with a funky smell anywho um
one of the things I don't like is that like on the weekends the dining hall closes at seven o'clock and like usually this wouldn't be a big deal but because like this is New York City like it closes on a weekday it closes at like nine which is fine however like this is New York City and like I just kind of feel like if you go if you go do something in the afternoon then you have to come all the way back here which is I say all the way back here but like Soho's a 45 minute walk and if you're caught up shopping or if you're caught up doing something with a friend it's like you have to come all the way back here and it's just it really is a pain to have to do that um not to mention like sometimes some of the stations will be closed or like on the weekends they have breakfast like three-fourths of the day unless you come at like four on the weekends then they don't really have lunch like it's just eggs bacon sausage and i just don't really want that at 12 o'clock like i don't know very rarely but i just don't really like it um and then like depending on the cook you get like some of them will be like if you can have like you could choose bacon or sausage like it's one little bitty round sausage and it's like two pieces of bacon or sometimes it's three or four depending on who you get but like sometimes if you get a certain cook he's like well you have to choose you can't have bacon and sausage and i'm like why you expect me to get full off of two pieces of bacon Anywho, it just depends on who you get. Like, the girl at the, um, the checkout, one of them, I told you earlier, like, she was like, well, how many cookies do you have? But the other girl, the more chill girl, I don't know her name, um, I had, like, three or four things in this one hand, because I was trying to get my card out. Like, I had my phone, my wallet, my, my food, and my drink in my arm, and it was, like, I'm holding everything. So I had the box like this, and she's like, I need to see what you have. So I'm like... But like, what else am I supposed to do, you know? Like they really, they're so tight on their food plans. Like they think they're, we're stealing like an extra egg or something. It's ridiculous. Um, another thing is that like, they're very strict, at least they were on the first day. Although I haven't really done this. Like I haven't really gotten on my phone in class because they're very strict about like, okay, don't get on your phone. Like if you get on your phone, like, I would be mad at you. That's how they act. Um, but I don't really know. I don't really know. So, next thing is, let's see. So, another thing that was kind of different, like, from my other university was, like, when you're printing, first of all, I got lost on the first week of school, like, for two hours in one of the buildings, and I didn't know how the heck to get out of the building. And then I found a security guard, and I was literally like, how do I get out of here? So, um, so the library is just really confusing because of all the twists and turns in these old buildings. It's like, it's just really confusing unless you know your hallways. Um, but like the printing is really difficult. Like for my other university, you would log into a computer. Um, you would log into the computer and then press print on the computer and then minimize the tab. And they had this little tab in the computer. It said print release. So you just double click that, sign into your student account, and then press print release on the same computer. But for this one, it's like, it's just such a pain in the butt. You have to pick a computer, sign in, get to your documents, press print. So, a lot of times you have to press download here and then print. Um, so you have to do that. And then you have to walk across the room to a different computer. Um, well, actually, before you do any of this, you have to load money onto your card. So every time you have to load money onto your card, they give you a little sheet. So like it tells you how to do it. So you have to go in, you have to sign in, you have to put money onto your card, which is really annoying because you think it'd be in the tuition. Fast forward, you go across the room to sign in for the print release. Um, so you sign in and then you have to swipe your card and then it says like a lot of times it'll give you like problems and stuff if it's not like in a PDF form or if it's not downloaded or something like that. I feel like I always have problems. Um, however, you just hit print on that computer. But if you're not like super quick, it'll just like close your logout information and then like it'll just reset. So you have to type quick. Um, let me see. Oh, another thing is. I didn't really know this about the library, but like with my fashion styling class, 
oh my gosh, like I love this so much. One of the, no, yeah, one of the classes was we go to the library on the fourth floor and they have like the archives. They literally have all of these books from like the 60s, the 80s that like nobody else really has. Um, and like I was looking in one the other day, they have like lots of Vogue catalogs and look books and stuff. They have like the other day, I think it was 1967, it was a Vogue catalog from 1967 and it was like so cool to be able to like see something like that because obviously fashion is not very big in Louisiana where I'm from and like they even told us like nobody really has these so it's just kind of like being able to look firsthand it's just so freaking cool and then they also have like a lot of these books fashion forecasting books from oh, I forget the lady's name it's like Ellie Coulthard or something Ellie Coulthard I don't know her, she's a fashion forecaster I can't remember her name it's Ellie cool I don't know um anywho they have these books of like fashion forecasting of like 24 and 25 year tw 2024 2025 and they're like wrapped in this like satin sheet not satin it's like cloth sheet and like if you unroll and then there's a book inside so like it's a satin it's a cloth sheet wrapped around a book kind of like a yeah yeah um so once you unroll the cloth, it's like a bunch of different color swatches on it, and it goes out like like this, and it's a bunch of color trends that they think they're like forecasting what colors will be popular in like 2024 and 2025. So it's just really really cool. And then when you open the book, it's like a theme. So I think the one that she just came out with was like candy colors or color candy or, or it was something like that. Um, but it was so cool. It was like, she was forecasting like all of the trends that she think will be popular and my teacher even said like, well for the most part she's always right. Um, so that was so cool. I loved it so much. But like I just feel like there's still so much to go see. So, um, the next thing. Yeah, so classrooms are definitely hard to find unless you're familiar with the building. Um, I want to say Dubinsky is like I want to say Dubinsky's A. Okay, Dubinsky is where the dining hall is, and then next to that is business and technology. That's where all my classes are. And then next to that is Feldman. That's with the big arch thing. And then next to that is Pomerantz, which is the museum. And then across the street is Goodman, I think, which is also the museum, and that's where the library is. I don't know, it's kind of confusing, but let's see what else. Um, I don't know if I talked about this already. They have nap pods in like the, it's fifth, I don't know what floor it is, maybe the seventh, maybe the eighth, I don't know. Um, but Dubinsky, it has nap pods and I wanted to try them out because they look really, really cool and like so, so cool. Um. But the confessions page on Instagram for FIT, I think somebody screwed in them. So I'm going to pass on trying those out. Hopefully they get cleaned really well because that's gross. Um, oh, one of the things that was so cool, I actually didn't go because like I didn't expect to feel as homesick as I did when I first moved here. Um, so I think like the whole first week I kind of was like, not really productive at all like we didn't even have class the first week um so I, did, I really didn't do much but one thing I wish I could have done actually I was on the waiting list for like three of these different events but apparently they were all at the same time on the same day and there was a wait list for like all of them and they were emailing me saying like hey you have to pick one because there's a wait list for all of these and I'm kind of I was already kind of on the fence about going because I didn't, first of all, I didn't know it was that popular. Like, I didn't know they had wait lists for these events. Um, but the events were, like, OLs take you around the city. One of them was, like, they take you thrifting in Brooklyn. One of them was, like, they take you to the Met or something. And just stuff like that. But it was, like, a big group. Like, there were big groups of people. 
Uh, so it was just things like that. But like I actually unenrolled from all three of the events because I was feeling like really depressed. Um, but also like I wanted, I didn't really know anyone also that was going, but also like I wanted other people to have the chance to go like if I wasn't really feeling it, like I didn't want to be stuck there when someone who really wanted to go could have gone. Um, but they do do events like that, like at the very beginning, right before school starts to kind of break the ice, which I really like. And I wish I could have gone, but that option is available. Um, pronouns are very important here. Like at my other university, we never talked about that. I don't think I've ever been asked about my pronouns one time. That's why I was like so off guard. Like when I came here, like all they all, I've been asked about my pro pronouns so many times here and it's like only September and I've just never had that experience before because like I'm from the South. Like I don't really need to say more than that. Like we just, we don't, we don't talk about that there. I don't think, at least I, my school didn't. Um, but like it's just nice seeing everyone like from such different like I guess what I'm trying to say is like it's nice seeing how different everyone is and like because my college wasn't really that international but like everybody here is like so international so different so it's just really nice to hear like about where everybody's from and how different we are um there are so so many clubs to join like I was so excited for this. I want to say through the Fit Portal, they have like all of the clubs that you can join and stuff. And before I even came here, like before I even came to New York City, I was like looking at all the clubs on the Fit Portal and I was like, you can like virtually join them. Yeah, like it's not virtual, but like you can join them on the Fit Portal, like before school starts. Um, so that you'll get like emails about that stuff. Um, so that's what I did. I joined a lot of it. Um, <clears throat> this has been an insanely busy week for me. So I actually couldn't go to like a couple of the clubs this week that I wanted to go to for the first meetings. Um, but a lot of the clubs like are at the same time on the same day. Like on, I'm gonna say Tuesday, two, no, three of the clubs that I wanted to go to were at the same time on the same day. So I actually had a class assignment at the Coterie show, like we were, we were at the Coterie show by Hudson Yards and I was so tired, like I was trying to network and everything, so I actually didn't get to go to the clubs at all. Um, but however, they just have, they have so many clubs here. Like one of the ones I'm really excited for is um, Fashion Law. So it's kind of like law, for fashion like dupes and stuff is, is kind of I'm assuming like I didn't get to make the meeting but that's kind of how they explain it to me so like if you're trying to sue someone over copying your clothing that's kind of I think what they do they also have like merchandising society runway 27 where you help set up fashion shows um you see they have delight ministries which is like a, a girl group like a ministry group that meets every week to read like out of books and stuff they actually had that at my other university. Um, they have the style shop where you can actually work to give you like retail experience. And they have like clothes and stuff. I want to say the students make them, but oh wait, no, 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 no. Maybe some of the clothes the students make or like they're like vintage, I think. Yeah. Um, but like they have stickers and I got this Harry Styles sticker from the style shop. It was like $4, so I got that. But it was so cool like to see that they have jewelry they have the denim maxi skirts right now they have a lot of vintage shoes dresses um they have cute little blouses and stuff from small brands i think um so yeah it was just a really good experience um and then i want to say this is the last thing the subways run late and they don't subways run late and don't run so don't depend on subway right before class so this is very true right when i came here in august i want to say that's when a pipe broke and for the longest time i don't i heard that it won't be fixed until like next year but like 
once you take five minutes, sometimes takes 18, 20 minutes, like waiting for the subway or like if you get on the subway, it'll just stop and like wait for those minutes. Um, so there's just, there's so many delays right now. Some of the subways aren't even running. So it just really sucks. Like if you got somewhere to be, like it's just not the right time for it, a pipe to break. Um, so I guess just really do your research on that. Um, and I want to say that that is it. If I think of anything else, I'll definitely do, you know, another video or I would love to do a and a So if you have any questions, just drop them below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, whatever you feel like. Anything helps. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you think. Thank you so much.